In this show, you can join in the action from home. Download the Poker Play Along app from your app provider. Once, he ruled the world of football. Ronaldo, what happened? Oh, boom. The greatest footballer of all time. We've got a real celebrity. We're not messing around. And following his epic run in the PCA main event, Ronaldo takes on the PokerStars.com shark cage. But he's taking on some tough opposition, including an MMA world champion. When I'm in the cage and, and I fight, I don't stop moving. And my mind is, you know, if you stop moving, you're dead in the water. <laughs> There's also poker's youngest ever triple crown winner. For me, shark cage is about Putting people in pain, putting them under pressure, putting them in the cage, and then winning it. A chess grandmaster turned poker pro. I love playing formats that have a little twist to it, and everybody's thinking on their own for the first time. A mega mouth Brit who's been here before. People are always like, oh, do you talk a lot because, you know, you lull them into a full sense of security, and then you get a read on them. No. I just do it because I'm a friendly guy, and I can't shut up, basically and an online qualifier who's not afraid of the big guns. I believe in luck of the Irish. I also believe fighting Irish. On the day, the cards against the players, I can definitely win this. Ronaldo may have won the World Cup, but how will he cope with the cage? Tonight, we'll see the elite take their seats. Five sharks who've competed at the highest level and are no strangers to victory. It's pitch and octagon versus felt and chessboard. It's brawn versus brain with a seat in the final and cold hard cash on the line. Once again, we're on Paradise Island in the Bahamas for the third heat of the poker show with a million dollar prize pool. Our online qualifier, Connor Callahan from Ireland, is currently finding out what it's like in the cage while the Sharks choose their seat. All right. Well, I'm really excited about playing the game. Not so excited about going into the cage. I noticed that a lot of professional athletes like Ronaldo and Tito have like such a great instinct that can give them an edge. Women, you gotta be very afraid of because it seems like they play the same way with a bluff or with a strong hand. Go on, Tia. Sweet deeds. I would like to put each and every one of the players into the cage. It is competition. I love to compete. I love to be the best I possibly can be at competing. If he's a fighter, I'm sure that he's a tough competitor. There'll be an awkward silence as he walks through the cage. I'll be like, keep him head down. Unlu unlucky, bro. What could you do? You know, I don't, I don't think anyone will be winding him up too much. Each one of the players I'm playing against, I'm bringing punishment to each one of y'all. <laughs> Six. Obviously, it's going to be interesting to play against Jake. All I got to do is send Jake to the cage and I can pay for my flight. Loving it. Sam is 100% the person I want to put in the cage the most. Me and him have been friends for like a long, long time now. Good rapport, but like, Definitely a little bit of a rivalry, too. I get to sit by you all the time. Obviously, I want to be by Tio and Ronaldo. There you go, Jakey. Take a seat. Take a seat, brother. I'm a huge fanboy of Ronaldo, even now, so it would be really cool to play him and stuff and hopefully beat him. I'm Ronaldo, and I hate losing. I will do my best to win this shot cage. So here comes Connor. He's from near Dublin, and he's training to be an actuary. Woo! That's someone who measures risk and uncertainty in business. Woo! Actuary. How you doing, bro? Hello. Hey, good to meet you. I'm Jennifer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, you <laughs> Cheers, man. Strong handshake. <laughs> like it, like it. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Connor. Sam. Winning the chance to play against Ronaldo would pretty much be the grand prize for a lot of folks out there. Free roll. Righty. Good luck, boys. Thank you. Jake's never been more ready to play a hand. How many um, cage visits do you reckon in the first 
in the first level. 47. You're not excited to play a hand, you're excited for a river. I'm just going to check it down until we get to the river. And <laughs> 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 I'm going to be smiling the whole episode, by the way. <laughs> I just can't contain myself. Jake's a Ronaldo fanboy. Well, you can smile at home and play along at home as well using the Poker Play Along app. So everyone starts with a million ships, and the blinds are 5,000, 10,000 with a 2,000 ante. Action's on Jen. A6. That's a fault. Fault. Ronaldo's out. So is Tito. And a walk. Okay. Just a walk. By the way, Jake's done his studying, so he knows, like, blind on blind, with there's potential. You know, <laughs> potential to win a lot of chips. Did you make a video on that? <laughs> <laughs> there's no shame in folding, Jakey. Jake with 5 4 suited. Cake Jody does not fold his small blind. Limps. That's weakness right there. That's weakness. <laughs> I'm just going to check check my cards whether to, to slow play or not. Sam with jack six. All right, let's go. He checks his option. We're going to the flop. No, oh, he's going to slow play the old jack six. Dangerous. Not much for either of them. Jack six holding as it should. Action goes check, check. Three on the turn. Jake now with a straight draw. And he might start betting this now. His shot clock's running. Fifteen seconds. He checks. He does not bet. Maybe he thinks Sam is slow playing something. Sam checks behind. Jake gets his wish. We're going to the river and the cage is in play. It's a jack top pair for Sam. Jake knows he's not very likely to win a showdown with a five, so my guess is he is going to bet at this. And if he bets, it will be a bluff. And his bluff's probably going to get called faster than their parents' bluff to leave their kid behind at an amusement park. Ten seconds. Five. There's the bet and the red bluff card. Quick call from Sam. <laughs> and Jake is going to the cage. Jake literally had the worst hand possible. Jack on the river. How does he hit the beautiful, jack? Beautiful. I was like, it's the perfect <laughs> spot. <laughs> so I've got like the nut low. <laughs> See you later, Jake. Right. That was early doors, Jake. Get in the cage. Could be a 2K as well. 2K <laughs> I get for that. What should I spend it on? I might fly over and, and go out to a club with Tito. There's, even, there's, a, there's a speaker over here so I can hear you just in case. Speaker not needed. 1K bottle service. That's, that's what I'm going to spend the Jake Cody shark money on. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear, Jakey. It's actually way more painful than it looks. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Cheers. Ra round of drinks on you, buddy, yeah? Wounded. When I put you in the shark cage next, I'll be able to go to Brazil to see Ronaldo, go to Sao Paulo. I'll send you a little selfie of me and Ronaldo in the club. Will they zoom in on those red moccasins? So say someone you were coaching turned up and, and they were wearing red mo moccasins. What, what would you say to them? Would you be... It better be American Indian. <laughs> I could have some heritage. If red moccasins are going to take off in the UK, then, you know, this is probably the time. Thinking twice about wearing those moccasins now, aren't you? <laughs> Jake will have to spend an entire orbit in that cage, and something tells me the rest of the table won't let him forget it. He only has to spend an orbit in the cage, but he's got to spend all day in those shoes. Right. Action on Sam. He's raising with deuces. Folded round to Ronaldo. Call. Oh. He's in with Queen Nine. Tito's out. This is, this is one of the highlights of my poker career. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sam flops quads. Hiya. Check. This is literally one of the best moments in my career. Check. All right. Check. Weak check. Story checks out, but also does not check out. Oh, Ronaldo's paired his queen. That's bad. 50,000. 50, he bets it. What a great card for Sam. Just a call as we go to the river. And once again, the cage is in play. Ronaldo's hand improves, but not enough to beat Sam's quads.
And Ronaldo tends to overplay his hands a bit. One hundred thousand. <laughs> That's a tell. Ronaldo betting more than half the pot. And he's looking for the value card. Maybe he overplays his hands because he couldn't use them when he was doing soccer. Come join me, Sam. <laughs> Pretty cozy over here. Sam will not be joining you. <laughs> 290. This is a raise for value. What a tough spot for Ronaldo. Sam's got so much incentive to bluff raise this river. And it's going to look like he just wants to see Ronaldo and Jake in the box together. This. With the cage dynamic, there's a very good chance Ronaldo calls here. Go. He does call. Wow. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Just didn't want, to, didn't want to slow roll Ronaldo. Right? <laughs> Not coming in the cage, Jake. I was pretty confident that I wouldn't be coming in the cage. Oh, he's got it. That's why. <laughs> first, first time I've ever played against Ronaldo. Just flop quads. This is a day in my life. You I'm said like, it was going to be a highlight. I said Jake to the cage. And then, I mean... You're peeking too early. Sweet. Yeah. The order of this was you said it was a highlight of your career and then you fought quads. <laughs> That's, That's amazing. Quad City DJ, ride it. Unlucky Ronaldo, obviously. Oh, that's good. Like a monster. Well done. Mm -hmm. What a great start for Sam, building a stack, winning a huge pot against his idol. Just to be playing pots with Ronaldo, that's a dream come true, really, for me. This is literally one of the best moments of my career. Particularly when I grew up, Ronaldo was a big hero of mine, who I'll enjoy having a drink with at some point in the future, hopefully. Don't forget you can join in the action from home. Make sure you download the Poker Play Along app. Heat three of the PokerStars.com Shark Cage is in full swing. And right now, it's all about Sam Grafton. All right, let's go. I'm feeling super confident at this point. Obviously, I've got momentum at the table. Get in the cage. I've sent Jake to the cage, which is a dream start. 2K as well. 2K I get for that. What should I spend it on? I might fly over and, and go out to a club with Tito. Hey. That's, that's what I'm going to spend the Jake Cody shark money on. There's a speaker over here so I can hear you. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm so annoyed because I just want to play. By the way, as well, you were so keen to play, and that's like your first time. It's, like big, it's the biggest the punishment. Game, you know? Just like, don't let me play. You tried to get all out of line, didn't it? You tried to get all funky, didn't you? <laughs> tried to get all limpy, trappy, bluffy, <laughs> didn't you? That, I don't know whether that's official poker terminology, but. That's my style. Limpy, trappy, bluffy. <laughs> it's like a terrible TLC album. Jake Cody, how I earned a million dollars playing limpy, trappy, bluffy. <laughs> Available in all good bookshops. James, what is books? Oh, come on, you're not that young. He's 43, you know. By the way, maybe you can use your e-reader to download the Poker Play Along app and join in the action from home. James, what is apps? Blind still 5,000, 10,000. You muppet. <laughs> Jen's going to play a hand, raising with ace four. Ronaldo has folded. Tito, that's king six. Call. Okay. He wants to play. All right, I'm in. I may, I may flop quads. It, do, it can happen. So we've seen that. Sam's coming along for the ride with suited connectors, and after the flop, Jen still has the best hand with a pair of fours. Jen must not want to play a huge pot with bottom pair. Action checked around. And I don't think if Tito had bet, she would have folded. Well, that six on the turn changes things. Tito takes the lead. And he's going to bet it. Gets a fold from Sam. And Jen's got one of the only hands Tito can get value from. She calls. We'll fire up the cage. We're going to the river, which is another six trips for Tito. Tito. Tito! Jenna's checked. 
She definitely could not bet for value. It'd be very difficult to get called by a worse hand. Tito, on the other hand, is likely to bet, and it will be for value. Do you mean Tito's giant meat hook lethal weapon skull crushing other hand? 250. Well, that's a huge bet. More than the pot. That is a huge bet, like his huge, giant, rippling, veiny neck. This one, no. That one. You haven't decided this time. That one, maybe that one. Value. My vision is horrible. You're all good. You're telling me he doesn't even know who he's punching? Decision now on Jen, and her clock is running. Ten second warning. Jen is your classic overthinker. Five second warning. And a time bank chip, she extends her shot clock by 30 seconds. All I'm gonna say is that sometimes when a dude starts by moving his pawn, he's not using the von Klugenstein open, he's just moving his pawn. What if, um, hmm. What was that? She might overthink this. Down to 10 seconds again. Five. I call. She pays him off. Welcome to Value Town, Jen. Population, you. You don't have to go to the cage, at least. <laughs> Silver linings. Okay. Nice hand. Good hand. So we're all just going to ignore that slow roll? Do you want to go down there and tell him to his face? Yeah, I would. No, actually, I'm, I'm not going to. That was the last hand, right? I'm, I can come back. <laughs> Time for Jake to step out of the cage. Get me the hell out of here. Release the Jakin! Should we give him, like, when we welcome the online quad? Oh, Jake! <laughs> Hi, Jake! Nice to meet oh, you! Right, Jake. Nice to meet you, Jake. Where are you from? Hi, I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. Just flew from New York. Hi. <laughs> so I see you walked here in your moccasins. We made for walking. Okay, let's get some revenge. <laughs> I'll just take it easy for you. Jake, just, just relax, <laughs> mate. Try, just try and win it. Start by winning just a small pot or something like that. It's good advice. I'm all enough, and I don't care about the small foot, so. <laughs> well, that's true. If I have to go in the cage, I have to go in the cage. <laughs> I just want to see some pain. <laughs> now, Sam is all talk at the best of times, and right now he has chirping chips. He is chip leader. Jake sits in third, and Ronaldo is the shortest stack. Blinds are 6,000, 12,000. Round to Jake. Not going to play this one. Sam on the button with six three of clubs. That's a raise. Connor, the qualifier, has king six in the small blind. Come on, Connor. Come on. Seventy thousand. Ooh, a re-race. Okay. Back on Sam. How much you have roughly, Connor? Gulp. A little better counter than me. Uh -huh. It's like like 600k or something. Or more. Yeah, a bit more. 70,000? Nah, crud, he's not folding. Cool. Well, this could get interesting. Yeah, Connor's got the best hand, but make no mistake, he wanted Sam to fold. Well, King High is still the best hand after the flop. 80,000. Connor bets. I don't know if Connor's terrified, but he seems terrified. And Sam is calling, possibly setting up a bluff for the river. Gotta start setting it up now. Ten on the turn, so Connor has picked up a gut shot straight draw. And it's gonna be really tough for Connor to double barrel, even though that's what he should be doing. Well, he's checked. And Sam checks behind, so here we go. The cage street, the river. The board bricks out for both players. Connor is ahead with King High. They both have pretty bad hands, but only Sam's hand is so bad that he has to bet it. Connor has checked.
And it looks like Sam's going to bluff. There's the bet. He's got to make it official. Here comes the red card. Now, if Connor can find a call, he sends Sam to the cage. If he folds King High, he's going behind bars. There is just no way Connor ever calls here. 350,000. Well, I didn't see this coming. He's just check raced. Boy, oh, 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 oh. He thinks he's bluffing, but of course he has the best hand. Yeah. I fold. Fold. So no one's going to the cage here. Tough to have a hand worse than Sam's. Yeah, no, that, that's good. That's good. Uh, that good? Yeah, yeah. I had six of your clubs. So Connor misses out on $2,000. I'm glad you re raised and didn't call. So, so <laughs> <laughs> it's safe. <laughs> no, nice play, though. Nice play. That was a nice play. <laughs> All right, now quit waiting for the award ceremony and get back in there. I can't believe I'm actually here now. I've never been to the Bahamas before. It's an unbelievable environment. An Irish man in 26 degrees. I don't know how I haven't melted yet. I'm working as a trainee actor at the moment, and in essence, my job is to calculate risk, find risk, and how to mitigate it. On the poker table, that's exactly the same. You're looking for risky spots, probably the best place for you to maximize your return on the table. My biggest advantage is being purely unknown. They don't know me from Adam. I can do things that they might think are completely unorthodox. I'm not worried about being put in the cage. I feel like I have to be playing on the edge, put other people in the cage, or you live by the sword, you die by the sword, you end in the cage yourself. Winning this heat would be unbelievable. It would be show that I can stand up against the pros. So I feel definitely on the day, the cards against the players, I can definitely win this. Could not follow a word of that. Tito, how long before a fight would you have to prepare in? Uh, about three months prior to a fight. Three months. Okay, guess what age you said is the peak for um, MMA? 34. Um, wow, that's pretty close. He said, yeah, about, you said 35, right? Yeah. yeah. I've got 10 years to make it. Can't, can't <laughs> wait. No, oh, I was going to say 11. Well, let's see if your guessing skills are up to par in this next hand, Joe, because we're going to play it. From our qualifier's point of view, we are going in the tank with Connor. Yes! It's been folded to Tito. Wait, what kind of tank? Race. And he's raising. Oh, my bad. There we go. Round to Connor. Ace nine. Colt. Guess we're going to the flop. Oh, so we're going to see Connor's cards, but no one else has got it. Sigh, top pair for the qualifier. I'm cool with it. Check. Checks to the aggressor. We're happy to have Tito bet here. Hunter. Asking you shall receive. Tito just over bet the pot though, that's a little weird. Still we can't fold. Caught. Connor doesn't fold. The turn card is a three. Puts two flush draws out there. I think we have to check again. Well, that's what happens. Hunter. Well, that's the same amount Tito bet on the flop. Well, I have no idea what this means. But check calling with a strong pair in this format's pretty good, in my opinion. I caught. Once again. That is Connor's M.O. We're going to the river, the Cage Street, Ten of Diamonds. Flush and straight draws just got there. Check. Connor checks for a third time. 400,000. And Tito bets big. Boy, it's really tough to imagine what Tito could be going for three streets of value with that we're beating. Which one do I want? Hmm. Let's try to get a read off Jake. This one? Or this one. Obviously, we won't get to see which card Tito's playing. <sighs> this one has to be the best one. Wait, which one was that? Uh, forgot. Okay, let's do this one. I don't think Tito has it in him to triple barrel bluff. I think we have to fold this. Remember, 
If Tito is bluffing and Connor faults, he's going into the cage. Did I just send Connor to the cage? He's requested more time. If you need extra ones too, I think I can throw you a couple. Against the pros, I think he can make this call. I, again, I just don't think Tito can bluff this hard. I mean, I know he can punch this hard. I call. Connor calls. Tito reveals value. Yep. Bang. Ace 10. Nice, nice value. When did you like your hand, Tito? He was ahead on every street, and that was a huge part. You want the chips as well? Of course we do. <laughs> Either he could ask for them or I could take them. Either one. Because he's a big, huge monster. No, I sat unlucky, Connor. Unlucky indeed. Connor just lost a huge chunk of his stack. And Tito is now the big chip leader after crushing our qualifier's skull. Metaphorically. I get this uh, mentality of winning from being a world champion. It's just the competitive attitude I had, and I, I guess I was born with it. Right now, I have a chip lead, so I feel confident. It's all that's set in my mind, is to go out and win and win it all. How would you like to play with celebrities and pros at the next PCA? Qualify now at PokerStars.com. It was about the banter. I've sent Jake to the cage, and then first time I've ever played against Ronaldo, just swap quads. This is a day in the life. You're peeking too early. Now it's all about biceps, because Tito's on top in heat three of the PokerStars.com shark cage. Bang. I play confident. My style has to be calm, collective. As a fighter, I try to read people. Eye contact, hand motions head motions, so if they feel any fear from the way I look at them, let it be. I got one question for Tito. Do you even lift, bro? Uh, a month before the fight, we are training six days a week, two serious sessions, we spar. Yeah, but do you lift? Four times a week. The fights are one in the gym. I mean, fighting is just fun. It's hard to to lose weight Yeah. last, well, I, I, last I do, 10 days. No. I do 20 pounds in three days. From lifting? You can lose 20 pounds in three days? It's just water weight. I can put on 20 pounds in three days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone at this table even lifts. When it's time to lift your smartphones and tablets, get playing with that app. Lines right now, 8,000, 16,000 with a 4,000 ante. Actions on Sam. Ace, queen. It's a raise. Nobody's gonna give Sam credit for having a hand this good. Brown to Ronaldo. Now Tito. Who's got king, queen? I call. No, oh, Tito hasn't been dominated this bad since he fought Randy Couture. I'm so sorry, I should not have said that. Sam versus Tito. And Sam still ahead with ace high. Both have missed, but Tito's got more outs to a win now than he did before. Action goes check, check. Sam picks up the nut flush draw. Clubs are a bad thing for Tito. Once again, it goes check, check. So the cage is in play as we go to the river, which is the three of hearts. Tito with just king high, Sam ahead with ace high. <laughs> Tito's got everyone shook. Time ticking away for Tito. He's betting. That one's the most difficult one yet. Hmm. This is a pretty small bet compared to Tito's other bets. My guess is he's going for the bluff card. Sure, that's what I want. You want to check again? I guess. I hope so. Let me see. I think. Well, that means someone's going to the cage. <laughs> what? 
I wouldn't call this. Sam does call, and that means we're locking up Tito. I hope... That... Wh what's that, Sam? We're putting a cage fighter in the cage. Uh, um, sir, if you'd like to make your way to the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, cage. Nice hand, Sam. I was, of course, the first time I'd be in a cage, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Mate, put it this way, I'm not getting sent to the cage now. <laughs> Actually, my legs are getting a little sore sent down, so... Oh. Clean up, seat six. And for locking up Tito, Sam gets another bluff bonus. Mate, 150, you might have got it through, bro. 50k, you know? You made it cheap. Beautiful. Sam Grafton, putting people in the cage for a living. He's needling Tito. <laughs> Like, it's my job, Ronaldo. You're loving that, isn't it? Two thousand dollars. More room as well. People can breathe. It was getting crowded around this table with your big, with your big old legs and your big old heads. And <laughs> he's going there. And now we got some room. <laughs> That's all right. I guess I'm gonna do some jumping jacks or something. Please don't ask the set designer. The only time I ever been in a cage is when I was fighting. I ended up winning, but this time, no. I was actually on losing it, and I hate losing it. <sighs> he started giving him a bit of needle. It was getting crowded around this table. Your big old legs and your big old head. But Tito's a big guy. You can't needle him too much, you know. It's not like the guy's walking around in red moccasins. He's a guy not to be messed with. It's just one of those things to walk in the cage and feel like, you know, a kid in school sitting with a dunce hat on in the corner going, OK, I made a stupid move. Now I'm paying for it. Sam sends Teeter to the cage, then needles him. R.I.P. Sam Grafton. Thank you, buddy. Tito 2000. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Collector's item, Tito. Collector's item. <laughs> Sam can get that autographed along with the full body cast he's about to be wearing. I'm going to tank pre-flop whatever happens now. <laughs> now Jake's in on it as well. These two are cruising for a bruising. They are sailing for an impaling. That did not sound right. Action on Jake here. Let's see how long he takes. How you doing over there, buddy? It was like forever. There's no one taking extra time as they're playing. Actually, they all are. He is coming back, Jake. We should be careful. <laughs> oh, he's just so nice. By the way, that's Jake that's put the time back in. By the way, not me. And nothing to do with it. I feel like a kid on the playground right now. He looks pretty angry. I think he's taking it well. Oh, so it's on me now? I've got a few seconds. <laughs> he's wearing a cap that says punishment, you know? Like, <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I don't know whether. Go all in. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fold. <laughs> he's still in a relatively good. You got a lot of chips. You got a lot of chips. Just remember, you know? <laughs> he's also got one fist for each of them. 40. Connor raising with queen four of clubs. Jen with ace five. Calls. And Ronaldo? Call. Is in as well. Three players going to the flop. Which gives Ronaldo the best hand. Second pair. Jen's flopped a bad gut shot. 50,000. Ronaldo's betting. Sure, why not? Connor was the original razor. He folds. And Jen is out as well. Don't mess with Ronaldo. Great job. You're getting back yeah, in. It. Yes. It's Tito time. He's back. He's back. Release the Teton. <laughs> okay. All right. Time to play. <laughs> That wasn't so bad. After how many chips they took, that's not so cool. You got a lot of chips, it's okay. <sighs> Actually warm me up, I'll get a little cold in this chair. <laughs> Despite spending an orbit in the cage, Tito still has the chip lead. Jen is now second in chips, and Ronaldo is bringing up the rear. Oh. Blind to 10,000, 20,000. Folded around to Ronaldo. How much? Eh? 20. 
for any. Six four suited. He limps in. Call. Tito limps as well. As does Jake. What the heck is going on here? Almost a family pot. Four players going to the flop. All right. Well, everyone has something. Top pair and a straight draw for Tito. A pair of threes and a gut shot for both Jake and Sam. A gut shot for Ronaldo. This flop hits everyone like Tito's fists. 50,000. It's Ronaldo who bets it. Sometimes this bet would work, just not this time. Okay. Tito's called. Jake has folded. Sam sticking around. Still three way as we go to the turn. Which is a queen. Hasn't changed anything. 50,000. Ronaldo bets again. Ronaldo's going to want to up those bets a little bit. With this pot size, 50,000 is almost like checking. Oh. Tito calls again. As does Sam. So three way to the river, which means the cage is not in play. Well, that four gives Ronaldo a pair. It's a straight for Sam and Tito. Everyone gets there, except for Ronaldo. Bet 50,000? He's not going to get the chance. Sam bets 130,000. Trying to make sure Ronaldo can't give up and check. He's folding. Fold. What's Tito going to do? He knows those are time bank chips, right? Re raise 200. Well, it looks like Tito's learned his lesson. Hang on a sec. That's an under raise. Oh, he's learned nothing. Tito has to make it 260,000. Now, Tito doesn't know this, but he wants Sam to fold, and I think getting Sam to fold here is going to be tougher than Superman's razor. So, 130 more. He's calling. <clears throat> he does call. They both have a wheel. What a get now. What a get now. They'll split what's in the middle, because this is a chop pot. Everybody loves a chop pot. Does anyone want to say that on TV? Everybody loves it. And he goes, everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. All right, come on, this is State's catchphrase. He's going to be doing what? panto in West Bromwich I've, I've... three years from now, and he needs a catchphrase, <laughs> otherwise he ain't going to be able to earn a living. You know, so, like, please don't take what, what little he's got away from him. My one contribution to poker, the one creative concept I've brought to this show, and he gets credit for it. I'm... If fights are won in the gym, Tito Ortiz must have been in serious training for the PokerStars.com shark cage. You want the chips? Either he could ask for them or I could take them. Either one. He still leads the way in this all-action heat that's already seen two lockups. See you later, Jake. Sam Grafton, putting people in the cage for a living. Collector's item, Tio. Collector's item. <laughs> Quads. First time I've ever played against Ronaldo, just block quads. Always oh, got it, that's why. And lucky Ronaldo, obviously. Oh, that's good. And plenty of needle. You're thinking twice about wearing those moccasins now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Tried to get all funky, didn't you? Jake Cody, how I earned a million dollars playing Limpy Trappy Bluffy. Awkwardly quiet in here. Quick, somebody pull Sam's string. I feel like there's already been like. I, never thought you'd I, I feel like there's been more, uh, more hands here than than there was in the entire of like the last episode that I've been at. That you were in. <laughs> Miss Finland. It's always Miss Finland. Uh, mate, who needs Miss Finland when you got you got these cheap bones? I mean, come on. Ooh, simple. Everyone. <laughs> Hashtag num num. <laughs> so Sam and Connor are in the middle of the pack. Tito still leads, and Ronaldo is still the table short stack. Blinds 1020. Now's when the real poker starts. Action on, Ronaldo. Aces. Come on, Ronaldo. Go. Cool. He limps. OK. Tito 
eventually folds. Oh, kings for Jake. No, oh, no, this is gonna cause some major dad face. That's a raise. Another pocket pair, Sam with threes. Pairs are lining up like the gangplank to Noah's Ark. He calls Jake's raise. Connor's out. Jen folds. Ronaldo calls as well, and we're going three-way to the flop. Ronaldo loves a slow play. I knew he'd lost a step or two since his soccer days, but this is ridiculous. Uh-oh, set over set carnage alert. Sam with three threes, Ronaldo with three aces. 50,000. He leads out. This is sick. This is sicker than Jason Robards and Magnolia, and a lot easier to understand. Jake calls. Sam's gonna get stacked. Possibly thinking about a raise. Definitely thinking about a raise. 180. There we go. Back on Ronaldo. Are we? He shoves. Easy fold for Kings. Jake passes. And Sam calls. Sam is trying nearly dead. He's got a one outer. He's going to need quads for the second time today. I had pocket Kings. <laughs> Nasty. We're looking for a three then, Ronaldo. We're looking for a three. Quads don't happen, do they? Yeah. They do, but they're pretty rare, like finding a meaningful relationship by swiping right. Ronaldo's set for a big double up. Sam has one out. He doesn't hit it on the turn. Just a 2% chance he gets there on the river. Very nice hand, Ronaldo. It's going to be painful when the three comes on the river. You know, but... 2% of the time, it'll be painful. The river card is... a jack. Diamond. Nearly. We could have had that made-for-TV moment. Soccer star stacks Big Mouth Pro. Still pretty good for TV. Ronaldo gets a big double up through Sam. Leaving Mr. Grafton pretty short. Unlucky Sam. Mate, I was loving that. A little three on yeah, the floor. Three on. Oh, oh, right. the that, I just heard quad ace, fours. queen, three. <laughs> Gotta be careful what you wish for, innit? Someone will translate all this for Ronaldo later. I was pretty happy with the situation. It's exciting to just take another flop with Ronaldo. The flop come down, ace, queen, three. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year 2015. W was loving it. Obviously think I've got the best hand here. 180. Are we? I was like, unlucky Ronaldo, you're a legend, like, yeah, you're drawing dead, off you go. And like, he looked at my hand, and then he just flipped aces, and like, he can't have aces, literally. He can't have aces. <laughs> Ronaldo, you played aces so badly, and yet you managed to stack me. Yeah, like, well done, mate. Pantomime in West Bromwich, huh? You're gonna be the first one out, again. <laughs> A moment of silence for Sam getting sad under sack. <laughs> Awkward. Not, not the best one to. Uh... Could even stay quiet for his own moment of silence. Oh. <laughs> Action on Jen with Ace Eight. No way she's not raising this. Ronaldo in the small blind. Who's she looking at like that? He calls with Jack Five suited. And Tito calls from the big blind with king six. If this was a chess move, it would be Uncle Lyle's castle blitz. Well, that crunchy flop is all Jen. A pair and the nut flush draw. Check. Action check to Tito. Who has king high. He checks. Check around. Jen checks behind. And gets there on the turn. Technically, she was already ahead, but she really got there now. Sure. Well, she's got a lock on it. Ronaldo and Tito are drawing dead. But that won't stop him betting. 100,000. And a raise here from Jen would get rid of all of her opponent's bluffs, and a lot of made hands would fold, too. So... 
she just calls. And with Ronaldo folding, we're going heads up to the river, and that means the shark cage is in play. So Tito has a pair of kings on a straighty, flushy board. Check. He checks to Jen. Shut it down, Mike. Shut it down. Jen most definitely playing the value card here. 150. Normally, I'd say she'd never get action, but with the cage and all... You think Tito finds a hero call? He's thinking about it. Maybe he's thinking about a real sweet chokehold. He's playing a time bank chip. He's increased his thinking time. Anything but a fold here would be disastrous. Of course, he could stick it all in and rep the jack ten of clubs. He also doesn't know he's up against the ace of clubs. Sure, if he did, he'd have folded already. 15 seconds. 400,000? Sorry? 400,000? And he's raising! I assume he'll be playing the bluff card here. And as soon as he does, Jen will call. And he'll be going back to the cage. Jen. I call. There we go. Flip it over, Tito. And take the walk. Oh, sweet lord. Jen's going to take the pot. Ah. We've got some cage time. Again. Damn. <laughs> Them legs need stretching. <laughs> Tough to bluff someone off the second nuts. Especially when the first nuts happens less often than a blood moon. Lucky, bro. Back to your... Well, we went from one lady to another. <laughs> <laughs> Tito back behind bars. He just seems more comfortable in there. He's like a model pose or something, isn't it? Like... <laughs> <laughs> when is the Ortiz action uh, figure coming in? Probably soon, yeah. So Jen gets a bluff bonus and takes the chip lead. This cage is starting to feel like home. Master bedroom's a little small. Next time, can Tito break out of the cage? Send somebody else over here, please. I don't feel alone. Will Gobby graft and make a comeback? Yeah, Ronaldo, he's happy. Look at him. Yeah, he's chilling. <laughs> We're sweating it, buddy. <laughs> or will the cage rage continue? There's cage potential here. You mean you can sit back and nothing again? Damn. Oh, burn! <laughs> Let's gamble, ladies and gentlemen.